Say Rakatay Hawa, Rakatay Al Shay, Rakatay Hawa, Rakatay Al Shay, Rakatay Hawa, Rakatay Al Shay. First and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four county yard to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. You know, this evening, I'll come the next lesson to feed the elect, 144,000, and the one third men, women, and children. You know, um, this topic is about, you know, these, these, these coffers mainly the two thirds right they're saying that um the men especially the men at gms don't know don't know how to speak to people you know and if they don't have a, if if they can't speak in a in a in a better way to get a message over right so i had this conversation with one of my work mate you know and she say she sent a video i don't know which one your brother from gms but she sent a video from gms i think it is your sister or some some relative or some relative to she right and the person say what they don't know how to speak to people you know there are there are the ways you could you could get your message over you know but these two are gonna be destroyed god was created to be destroyed because the the the, the refuse to turn from the wicked the wicked ways they hearing the rebuke, but they're so wicked, they're using, they're using the tone of voice as an excuse. If you can hear the tone of voice, trust me, you hearing the message. If you can hear the tone of voice, you hearing the message. But this lesson is not about that. And tonight I was chatting with some brothers from in Guyana Day, you know. And the brother posted some precept, you know, showing that. The voice that Adam heard in the garden, it was the voice of the prophet, and then he posts Exodus 20 and 18, and that spark it up. You know, he said, you know what? I'm gonna do this video. You know, for sure that when Yahweh speak to us, you know, it was lightning, thunder, and the, and the mountains was in smoke, and the, and our the chain of Israel said to Moses, "You speak to us. Don't let Yahweh speak to us." unless we die so we we speaking with a tone because the scripture said spirit not lift up the voice like a trumpet right but our voice compared to Yahweh voice is different and you people don't want Yahweh Bashem Yahweh speak to you people you know because you people can die right so I'm going to the lesson right to edify the church right so a lot of these scoffers and these wicked motherfuckers out there complain about how the men at GMS speaking, right? Because the men at GMS gain it raw, you know, starting from our apostles and elders at GMS, you know, they give it to us raw. So we walk in the footstep, our elders and our apostles, because they are the men of the Lord, right? And they give you the raw truth, right? So like I say, if you can hear the tone of the voice, yo, you motherfuckers hear the message, but but y'all just wicked, and y'all refuse to do to hearken unto the voice of y'all, but y'all making an excuse about the tone of the voice, right? So I'm gonna start off with um, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter twenty verse one, and the power Yahweh speak all these words saying. I am the Lord Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. So it's when Moses is when the most I tell Moses, you know, let the men stay away from the wife for three days, you know, keep themselves clean, and then bring them to speak unto me. That's like he bring them and I will speak unto them, they will hear my voice. Right? Um it's um verse two, Exodus twenty and two. He said, I am the Lord Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the most I speak in to us, say, the Israelite, right? The most I speak in. Verse 3, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any, Salaki, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything 
that is in, that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for i the lord Jehovah, thy power am a jealous power visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so the most high speaking to us the most high giving us these commandments the most high is speaking right verse 6 and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments they ain't change right with this wicked demonized demon pastor teaching they ain't change thou shalt not take thou shalt not take the name of the lord yahweh thy power in vain for the Lord Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Verse 8 Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. So the most I speak in, the most I speak in it. Right? We can get to the point just now. Right? It said, But the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord Yahweh thy power. In it thou shalt do no work. Thou shalt do any, thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy sons, nor thy daughters, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy, thy gates. Verse 11. For in six days the Lord Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea, and all, and all that, it, that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day, and hollow it. For step honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord Yahweh thy power give thee. Thou shalt not kill. Right? Which in this world they supposed to be murder. Right? Because you could kill lawfully. Right? You could, you could kill, you could, you could put a faggot, two faggot to death, you could put two lesbians to death. Right? You could, you could do this thing lawfully. Right? But in Esau's kingdom, you gotta be wise. Right? It gotta be wise because Esau would jail you for that. Right? But you can kill lawfully, you can't description. But you know, we're not in our kingdom, we're in captivity. So this is Esau kingdom. So Esau have he have his rules. Right? Verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So this is Yahweh speaking, right? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, so like thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Verse 18, right? This is the point of verse 18. So, Yahweh speaking to us, right? The Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian, you same ones who bucking up against the, the men the Lord saying that the men the Lord know to speak to people, right? This is with this is with you same people who say these things say, right? Exodus 20 18 and all the people saw the thundering and the lightning and the noise of the th of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it they removed and stood afar off they get afraid they get afraid right verse 19 and they said unto and they said unto Moses speak thou with us and we will hear and let not the power of Yahweh speak with us, lest we die. So, you could imagine the voice where they was hearing, when the thunder rolling, batang, bang, 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 batang, smoke, mountain smoking, lightning, trumpet. Yo, they get scared. But the many lords, the many lords doing with the, with the scripture say, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. But you, you, you wicked Israelite. One and one are saying that men, the men, the men at GMS don't know to speak to people. It's like I say, for our pastors and elders at GMS, they're giving us the raw truth. The raw truth. Alright? Verse 20, And Moses said unto, unto the people, Fear not, for the power of Yahweh has come to prove you. And Moses speak to us. Our power speak to us. And we was afraid. We was afraid. Right? And and that his fear may be before your face that he sin not. So it's why you it's why you people wicked out there. 
because you do not fear Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, you two thirds so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians. You are wicked because you don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. That's why the Most High sent his prophets in the last day to warn you people to repent and turn back before he bring great destruction. What we seen is just a, just smoke. This is just the beginning of sorrow. It can get worse more than this. Alright? Verse 21. He say, And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where the power was. Yeah, so there was a friend. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahshai wasn't speaking nice and soft. He was laying down the law. And this same wicked motherfucker was back then. Because everything, everything, everything and the sun reincarnate. Re, 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 reincarnation. Right? Everything and the sun reincarnate. So this same wicked spirit was back then. Right? Even Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, did not speak nice to you wicked two-thirds. Are we going to prove it through the scriptures? He didn't speak nice to you wicked two-thirds. Right? And how do you think the most I speak to us, speak to you people today? Through his prophets. Right? This is um This is uh Matthew Matthew chapter eleven and get straight to the point, right? Matthew chapter eleven verse nineteen The Son of Man came eating and drinking, the Son of Man is Yahweh Shai and Mashiach our Lord. Who the world is going to call Jesus? His name is not Jesus. Jesus is not even a name. Right? The what Messiah any Messiah was two thousand while you were two thousand years, but it wasn't calling him Jesus was calling him Yahweh Shai. Right? Jesus is a Greek word. Right? Go back to he Jesus, which hail Zeus. It's also is a is also a Greek word that means savior. Right? It's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? This is Matthew chapter 11 verse 19. He said, The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they, and they saw, and they saw, behold, a man, a, a man gluttonous, and a wine bibber, a friend of publican and sinners, but wisdom is justified of our children. And this is what this wicked tutor was saying back then, right? Uh, verse 20 then he Yahweh Shia Mashiach our Lord and Savior our King right then he right which is Yahweh Shai began to upbraid the city so let me look at this word upbraid we see how Yahweh Shai speak to you you see him to turn you see a wicked fucking spirit back here today right we check up the word upbraiding and see how Yahweh Shai speak to you right you can see how Yahweh Shai speak to y'all Right, you're gonna need blue letter, right? You can see. You know, you people you people don't want you people don't want to turn from your wicked ways. That's why you are gonna be destroyed. That's why the most I said two thirds of his people are gonna be cut off and die. Right? Two thirds of his people, right? There's Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty. Right, check the word of brain, right? Yeah, how shall I speak to you all nice? Right? You see the Greek word? Strong's G, 3679, an idizo. An idizo. An idizo is, is the Greek word for upbraid, right? It said to reproach, to upbraid, to revile. Right? Revile, right? Of this, this deserved reproach, of undeserved reproach, to revile. To a break the cast favor um, receive in one stit, right? A break reproach revile. Um, definition is a um, from G three six eight one to defame etc. Real is a real at child child taunt cast it did suffer reproach revile or braid right check up this word child right child right um so a reproach right this word child right it's a admonish in admonishing and blame 
to reproach angry, angrily, to reproach angrily, right? We get this next one, it said revile too, right? You see what the word revile mean, right? Uh, R E V I L E, right? So lucky, right? This is what revile, right? It say, right? It say um to attack someone with abusive language. So Yahweh Shai upbraided the city. He was attacking them with abusive language. Right? <laughs> this is um Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty. Then then began he to upbraid the city. Wherein most of his mighty work were done. Wherein most of his mighty work were done. Because they didn't believe and it was being wicked. Right? Because they repented not. They didn't repent. And see him, this same wicked spirit back here today. All about the men at GMS don't want to speak to people. This is the same wicked one who don't want to repent. Who don't want to turn back and stop being wicked. And acting unto the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is seeing wicked demons them back here today, right? Um, this is Matthew chapter twenty three, right? But the thing is, if you gotta pay, this is when the most I said two thirty, you are gonna be cut off and die, right? This is um, Matthew chapter twenty three, verse twenty three. He serpents, he generation of vipers. How can he escape the damnation of hell? Right? How can he escape the destruction that come in? Right? Yahweh Shai. This, this, is, this is in the red writing in the New Testament. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. He serpents. Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, Kaya, serpents. He serpent. He generation of vipers. How can he escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribe, and some of them he shall kill and crucify. This will you wicked tutors gonna do. This we you are gonna do because we 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 revealing your wickedness. And y'all want to complain about oh the tone of voice. If you can hear the tone of voice, you can hear the message. Right? It's um and some of them shall he scourge in your synagogue and prosecute them from city to city. Right? Verse 35 that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, the son of Bar Barashias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation, you wicked two thirds. Right? Yahweh I didn't speak to Yah nice. His voice was like the song of many water. He had no sore voice, so he didn't speak to Yah nice. That's why you are kill him. That's why you are crucify him. Because he was skinning up your wickedness and he wasn't speaking soft to y'all. He was telling you how wicked y'all was. So when you when you come against the men, the men at GMS, when you come against our pastors and our elders and the and the brothers at GMS, you know, we we know that y'all has the same wicked spirit from back then. Speaking about our tone of voice. Y'all has the same wicked spirit. Right? And how the most I speaking yard how the most I speaking from speaking to Yah today through his prophets. Right? That's how the most I speak to Yah today through his prophets. Right? This is um Luke. This is Luke chapter 1 for 70. Right? Luke chapter 1 for 70. He he said, as he speak by as he speak by the mouth. As he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So how the most I speak into you today, by the mouth of the, of 
by the mouth of his holy prophets because you tell moses let moses moses you speak to us don't let yahweh speak to us because we're gonna die so how how did moses speak to you today to the prophet the same men that you are scoffing the same men you are crucifying with your mouth you know and the scripture says some you are, you are gonna put some with a death you are gonna cast some put some you know put cast in prison and all these things because we skin up your wicked deeds right and that's how the most i speak to you after they through his prophet and the most i said cry aloud spare not lift up your voice like a trumpet and show israel the house of israel the sins and the transgression right we now out there to make no friends we out there to we out there to get the most i do the most i work so the most i could come back and deliver us to this captivity so we could be in our own land ruling in righteousness and not wickedness but you people want to stay in this wicked place right you people don't you people don't want you people don't want salvation you people want to stand this devil this devil oppress you every day right this is um this is Hosea Hosea 12 and 10 this is Hosea chapter 12 verse 10 right Hosea chapter 12 verse 10 I have also spoken by the prophet and I have and I have Salaki and I have multiplied vision and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets yeah and that's how the most the most I reveal these secrets to his prophets right that we could go there and teach people getting people understanding this Bible and this is what the most I do right but you people want to scoff and make excuse by the tone of voice. We is men. It's men you're dealing with. Right? It's men you're dealing with. You understand? This is um, Acts chapter 3, verse 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among his people. So you people who are talking about the, the tone of voice and the men, the men at GMS, you are going to be destroyed. You are going to be destroyed, right? This is Acts chapter 3, verse 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among his people. Right? It shall be destroyed from among his people. Yeah, you understand? So this is exactly what I'm to you, you people. Right? He said verse 24, Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as I have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. So the most high prophets back here today, in the last day, to warn you wicked motherfuckers, you if you don't change, you're going to die. You're going to die in these plagues. You're going to die in the famine. You're going to die when the, when the economy collapses. You know, you're going to die from hunger. You know, you're going to die in your race war. Martial law. When you take the chip, you're going to die. When the missiles hit, you're going to die. You're going to be burned up in the fire. And when the most I send back, he hunters. You know, lad, you're going to be put to death. So we warn you people to change from your wicked ways. Because you, how would they speak to we nice when he speak, when he come down and speak to us? And the mountains started smoking, trumpets started song, lightning and thunder. When Yahweh Shai is son, his only begotten son, our Lord Yahweh Shai, speak to y'all. He didn't speak nice. He upbraided the city. He didn't speak nice. He got y'all vipers. He got y'all generation um, serpent, generation of vipers. He got y'all hypocrites. He got y'all fox. These is not nice words. But y'all wanna come against the men of GMS and say, oh, we, we speak in rude. But y'all can hear the tone. Surely y'all hear the message. But it offend y'all because because the same wickedness y'all are doing. So you so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians repent and turn back to Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh is who the world God God is our heavenly father. Yahweh Shai is beloved son, which the world God Jesus is our Lord and Savior. 
you Soka Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians are the Israelites. You are the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai repent and turn back. And with that, what was the defiant? Want to give our praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akims in the four candy. You are to push in the glass when I sincerity and truth. Shalom.